Welcome back. SOLIDWORKS 2025. Here we are in the second video for basic tutorial. We already covered the sketches and very quickly how to use fillet command in our parts. So let's continue with this nice software. And especially uh, let's talk about user customization. So as you can see, probably if you have a new fresh installation of this software, you will notice that these two commands and maybe this one and this one are not on your features tab. So the way how we add and remove uh, commands from here is by using the command search. So if we click in this arrow, we are going to have these options. Just click on common search and now type the comment that you will like to, to see. For example, let's say that uh, I would like to have uh, the delete face comment, for example. So I will type delete and then I get the delete face in here. I will just drag it from this list and drop it in here. I can also drop it in this other zone and it is going to be added as a small um, comment here in this fast uh, selection. But I will leave this one in here. So let's leave it there. So that's it. I have it there. Another option is just type the comment and then click and the comment is going to start. That's another one. But yeah, it is, is, it is very nice. So let's uh, now talk about this other zone because when you click on the graphics area and click the right click, you're going to have options that probably you're not going to have this one because I have uh, customized my one, but you can right click on the, uh, in this, uh, rectangle and you're going to have the option of customize. So this is going to throw you in here. So as you can see, no matter what, if you try to move this one, this small box is going to be uh, always at the top of, of the screen. So the idea is that on the comments, you can search for those comments by typing or just scrolling or selecting from here and then dropping again drag and drop the comment that you will like to have on your uh, right click options so i will select the mass properties for example i'm dragging it and as you can see i can select where i want to locate it and i can just release the click and there uh, I have to think. Okay, so I will click OK and I will right click again on the graphics area and I have there the, my mass properties thing. So this is actually uh, giving me volume, area, and so on. Okay. Since these videos are intended to be quick, so you can check this other video that is shown in here somewhere for the next part of this series of videos.